please welcome from Chicago, Mr. Kevin Derrick. This piece is dedicated to my cousin Andrew, his bandaged face, the face of a pointless war. Hospital bed moves a couple times an hour to prevent him from getting bed sores. He'll be fit for a glass eye tomorrow, and they said his left hand might be able to be saved. His father was a Marine. So was his uncle's memory, finalized in Vietnam jungles, glorified in the marble of a memorial. He's got to make this country proud, doing so the only way he knows how. Tightly laced combat boots, a matching M16. Gonna protect freedom, but doesn't know what that means. Confused by Pentagon podium's propaganda, painting Becca red, white, and blue, taking turbans like scalps cause he hasn't lost faith in the stars and stripes that wrap around his thin 19 year old arms. But this freedom has been compromised by U.S. footprints trampling the homes of Iraqi children who also believe the boogeyman exists, except not on the beds and over rooftops as Andrew marches through Baghdad streets, individuality engraved in dog tags. Just a 19-year-old kid trying to straighten out his life, now tangled in the sounds of explosions, the buck bucks of AKs aimed right at him. He doesn't know why he wants to kill him. He doesn't know why they want him dead, but he's a Marine. He's got to protect our freedom, our freedom to get rich off the week, our freedom to pay 50 fucking cents cheaper at the gas pump. He misses home. Feels the only way there is through Iraqi lives. Buck, buck the few. Buck, buck the proud. Buck, buck the Marines. Buck, buck. When the explosion went off, they said he was lucky. Most of the shrapnel hit his lower body, only took an eye and half his face. He'll be fit for a glass eye tomorrow, and they said his left hand might be able to be saved. Sore throat claims fluent speech as he struggles to ask his family if we're still proud. And we just want to know if he still looks like Andrew.